Hey guys, this is Dr. Leung and in this video, you will see 10 things that you should know about Void Spirit. Warning, the hero tips and advice that are shown in this video are all made to help the community get a better understanding of the hero. The tips are going to be ranked from basic to intermediate to advanced, so to cater to players from all range of ranks. If you do have a successful playstyle with Void Spirit, you should probably stick to it. But if you find yourself stuck or simply want to get to know more about Void Spirit, enjoy the video. The first basic mechanics that you should understand about Void Spirit is that you can and should cast spells as you're using Astral Step. I'm sure that most of you are familiar with the Use combo where you cast Use, at the Remnant, Shield, Dissimulate, and Astral Step. If you were to master pre-casting at the Remnant as you are using Astral Step, you don't really need the Use to set up a Remnant. Another important thing to note as you're executing this is to place the at the Remnant as close to the land point as possible. If you were to place it a little too far, the Remnant will take some time to activate and will cause you to miss an easy combo. You thank you and that's correct. So now I understand why Han and that's really quite up. It's less. The second basic mechanic that you should know is the positioning of the dissimulate portals. As your hero turns, the portals turns as well, but it is not completely random. One way to memorize the positioning is to know that the portal will always appear in front of the direction that you are facing. Once you know the first, you can estimate the rest. Face the correct direction and you will get to choose where you want to go. Resonant Pulse is one of the strongest trading spells in lane. Even at level 1, if you manage to hit a single enemy hero, the shield will block out 70 damage and that is equivalent to 2 hits or close to a fairy fire. And if you're trading hits for hits on the middle lane, it is a really huge advantage and you should be abusing it from level 1. Thus, you should always try to use this spell to CS as well as landing it on enemy hero. 2 birds, 1 stone. Get the CS and win your trade. Clearing crit waves has become the main priority in high rank games for a really long time. Whichever team that can shove lanes faster will be in a better position to make moves on the map. There is also another advantage of shoving lane fast and that is getting safe farm. Imagine this, if you were to show in lane for 1 second and clear the creeps in 1 second, your opponents will only see you for 1 second before they lose vision. And you're going to be a really hard target to gank. Void Spirit is extremely good at that and there are 3 main ways to instantly burst creep waves. First of all, we have to simulate into resonant pulse. You should be using this method majority of the time as they are both low cooldown spells. Next, we have astral step into resonant pulse. You should only do this when you're rushing towards a creep wave to push it out urgently. Finally, we have astral step into another astral step. You should only do this when you have to clear creep waves urgently and both your dissimulate and resonant pulse is on cooldown or when you're farming dangerously and you need to escape immediately after the creep wave. Astral step debuff will stack so you won't have to worry about using it both at once. Now that we get the basics out of the way, let's talk about playing the hero to the next level. If you were to initiate and hit your resonant pulse on all 5 enemy heroes, you will be blocking out 535 physical damage. If you have agonims and you use it twice, even though the damage block doesn't stack, you are kind of blocking out 1070 physical damage throughout a team fight after armor reduction. That is equivalent to having an extra 1070 HP and if you convert that to gold and items, that is like 2 reverse or slightly less than a hearts. That is a shitload of HP. Ultimately, you want to abuse this effective HP and fly into the core of the team to soak some damage, do some damage, beat some spells, and get out alive. Of course, this is not easy to do and it takes some experience to know the limits of this hero. So if you're looking to improve on Void Spirit, you should try to push this spell to its limits. 
earlier in this video, I mentioned how you can initiate with Astro into Remnant easily without use. But if you're comfortable enough with your Remnant placing, there is a way to do it without Astro step. That means that you don't have to rely on hitting level 6 just to get off a good initiation. I call this method Remnant of the Sea. The plan here is to disguise the flying remnant in your resonant pulse so that your enemy don't see the ghost flying out to pull them. This can be really useful in any stages of the game, especially when you're not looking to commit and just want a simple initiation. Scouting and counter initiating is a huge part of a team fight, and at the remnant does that work just fine. There are many ways you can push this spell to its limits and get into the heads of your opponents. Placing it during Roshan will instantly pull whoever that tries to contest. Placing it at tower TP points will almost guarantee the tower kill, as it is unlikely that anyone wants to TP into a remnant and risk dying. Placing it on top of your core that is hitting the tower can protect them from a certain form of initiation. Placing it on the high ground when your opponents is approaching will let you know if your enemy has a ward on the high ground. It is not just about landing the spell, it is about how your opponents react when you place it differently. Once you have mastered the basic and intermediate mechanics of Void Spirit, we have to take a step further to push the limits of this hero. Void Spirit is a really hard target to kill and most players don't really want to target him. So how do we actually bait with this hero? Ideally, you want to make yourself look like a killable target and give your opponents the opportunity to make moves on you so that you can either turn around and kill them or buy time for your teammates to arrive. To do this, you have to understand that you have low cooldown spells, you have an ultimate that can semi dot shit, get out of fights and do damage to someone. You have a physical damage block and the ability to disappear and dodge some shit. No one wants to gang you when you have all of these spells ready. So what do you do? You use some of these spells to show them that you are kind of killable to bait them in. It is like a calculated high risk high reward gameplay. If you manage to fly into the core of your enemy lineup and drop your spells, they will most likely turn and try to kill you. But if you manage to survive the initial burst, your teammates will arrive and likely take over the fight. The point is to show your opponents that your spells are on cooldown. But then again, you're making a calculated risk that you will not die and you're just baiting the spells or buying time for your teammates to arrive. If you're not too confident playing Void Spirit, you probably shouldn't attempt this play. Void Spirit has an aggressive set of spells that can be used to take out supports instantly. If you were to take out one support before the support can cast anything, the fight will turn into a 4 vs 5. If you manage to take out another support instantly, the fight will turn into a 3 vs 5. Most of the time, supports of the enemy team will either hug their cores or stay really far back in the fights. This is where you want to split the fight and attempt to take on multiple heroes alone. This play also requires experience so that you take calculated risks such that you do not die instantly. But if you are very comfortable with Void Spirit and you are looking to take it to the next level, this is definitely the play that you want to try. But I have to warn you about things that may go wrong when you make this play. Ideally, your team is ready to fight. The fight breaks out, you fly to the end of the team fight to take out the supports. 
If your teammates are not able to hold the front line 4 vs 3 or 4 vs 4, there is a chance that all your opponents turn around and take you on and that will leave you in a 1 vs 5 situation. This play has everything to do about how you read fights and you have to make the decision to get the fuck out when your team is not able to hold the front lines or when you're not able to kill the supports instantly. Since you have low cooldown spells, you can always re-engage afterwards. Wow. I'm going in, I'm going in, I'm going in. Okay. Ring, I'm going in, I'm going in. 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 I don't think you all should have the final tip that is going to be really hard to master when you're playing Void Spirit is abusing the little details in game to boost your power spike. It is as simple as using creep advantage, hitting level 6 before your opponent, hitting level 10 and getting a free 30 damage, getting an aggressive power rune or simply just having power threats when your opponents only have brown boots. Every little details in game can give you a slight advantage to boost your timings and allow you to be aggressive on the map. When you play this right, you are going to be very far ahead in the game and sort of solo win the game, but if you slightly overestimate yourself and die a couple of times, you can turn into a useless hero instantly. Drawing the line is going to be very hard because if you are not aggressive enough, your opponents will find plenty of space on the map to farm without getting severely punished. And if you are over aggressive, you might feed and lose your timings. Then again, if you are a player without an aggressive mindset, you probably shouldn't be playing Void Spirit. He's not the best late game hero that sits back and farm till he wins. He relies a lot on timings and snowballing. But if you're looking to try or improve on Void Spirit, it is time to put all these tips together and execute it in a game. Thank you for staying to the end of the video. If you enjoyed my Dota 2 content, do hit the like, share, subscribe and turn on the notification and I'll see you in the next video. Nice. 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 Nice.